Gold activation. Like God creation. No procrastination. We just keep on going. It's that godly shit. We surpassed the gangster. Look at all the hate that we faced in by Satan trying to break us. Trying to break us and they blatant. God me showing me a blank statement. Gave me a blank check and told me to cash in. Oh my ambitions. It's wartime. That don't mean we got a ration. We just start to fast and when we fast, then that detox from all the bullshit that's been happening. <sighs> Be proactive so you can eat no reactions. Imagine what would happen if we started working together as young black men and black women. That's that black family magic. Poof disappear, all of this shit that goes tragic. A few Nas revolutions. Fucked up what they've been doing, all the food been polluting. I'm mad, I don't see no soldiers, you don't see me out saluting. Even if they can say to y'all, they so fast, if I went to war with y'all, I feel like I was standing next to a bunch of bras and bras. No offense to the women at all. I just don't like when black men are feminized and act like cowards instead. So therefore, we never get this problem solved. We need the solutions. This toxic femininity in these men is the way they move. Afraid to stand up for themselves, take care of their duties. Shit, if you shoot one of them, you just knock down one of the fruities. Perhaps you did, that's a good cause. I don't love everybody. Somebody lied to y'all. It's that black eye protocol. I don't believe in good cops at all. Cause they shoot us down like dogs and they love their canines more than they love y'all. The nigga's so fearful. Y'all would give it up for him like you and him squad. Talking about some black. That's a race, that's a team. Everything black about me, even my dreams. I wake up in gold water. I got gold water. It's that black guy. Asiatic. Marcus Garvey, Master Ferrari. Who gonna stop me now? I mathematically compute the odds with the algorithm. Ah! Biting against the bias in the system. My iOS is God given. They don't know how I've been driven. I need a man activation. Better not at this too. You can't protect yourself. How you gonna transfer that protection to the black women and the black children? You still love uh, black niggas. They give you escapism. I run with the same niggas that help you get to the route of prison. And you can't escape in it. Too much weakness. Too much talking. They blame for our of having an outcome. So they don't want to join on it. I get it. It's too much strength. You don't want to actually have no convictions. As long as you got to play by the rules and you break them, and you're guilty, then you get convicted. Being hypocritical. I ain't being over and out of for I just see these niggas who don't match their physicals. Meaning they're supposed to embody their God body, but their estrogen is peaking more than their testosterone. It's almost as if they already switched their genitals without going through one of those procedures. Like the brother general. This is that gold water talk, black guy squat. Swooping down like this wartime man, that black hawk. I never left the ring like Smeagol. I'm fearless with no prejudice like the evil. I'm tough in my mind, thinking maybe trying to cross me like a cathedral. But I levitate, magnetic off the art. What's the name of that Egyptian beetle? Arm, leg, leg, arm, head, God, body. 
AGTC, like I credit this in my D. Hey, who can stop me? Ah! We just got in a good one, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. We just got in a good one. How you feel, good brother? Man, go. On that go, guys, on that go, man. Guys, on that go. God on that go. Clean my road. You get get out of here. That's all good. All right, let me get some of y'all out of here. Some of y'all some weirdos. Man, y'all be blessed though. Continue to tap in. Make your own rules. Pull your own life. Have a blessed one. Go ahead and work out, man. It's wartime, man. What you stay in your fat ass home for? Change up your lifestyle. Change up the way you eat, the way you think. Every day is a day and an opportunity to do it every moment. You don't even have to wait till the next day to start. Do that now. Keep your mind above. I'm about to go on the fasting from so many things in the next 30 days. For the, next, for the rest of the year, really, but so many different things. We have to be in a constant reevaluation of our lives, back into that higher mind state. When we get to really list all our lower activities, people always talk about balance, fuck balance. You wanna have your out assets outweigh your liabilities. Don't have your assets and your liabilities in balance, that cross each other out. How you bringing in a dollar and a dollar going out? We don't want no balance, we want wealth. People always talking about balance, you gotta have balance. No, nah, you don't have to have balance. Not if you wanna be wealthy. Wealth ain't about balance. Wealth is about having the good outweigh the bad. Abundance. Abundance. You can't. Exactly. All right. I don't see, we be going by these old rules and we just hear reference thoughts to things that people told us and never think about actually changing the paradigm to say, damn, what does that mean? Only poor people talk about balance. Nah, man, we need abundance. An over amount of assets that greatly, greatly outweigh our liabilities. And when we get to that point, that's when we can afford, right? That's when we can afford certain things. If you was healthy all year long, smoked a little weed, you know what I mean? You drank a little bit. Nobody tripping. But here you is, trying to goddamn drink as much liquor as you drink water. Balance. Talking yeah, about this balance. <laughs> that ain't no balance. That yeah. robs you. I it's, drink as much water as I drink anything. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Balance is for poor. Balance is for weak. Balance is not for the great. The great, they go all in. They get an abundance of assets and mastery and power. We keep talking about we want freedom. I don't want freedom, I want power. What's the use of being free with no power? Then you gotta adhere to the authority of the man who does have power. So who's really free? We gotta start thinking about things and measuring them by scales. You understand me? Because there has to be different measurements of freedom. If one man has power, yet we roam in the same place. Yet you have to adhere to his rules his identity, his codes, his laws, his regulations, his hey, politics, hey, his language, his ideology, indoctrination, his oligarchy, all of these different things. That ain't freedom. What's the real power if we live in a system where a group of men and organizations run the world? What does that tell us? Then we should be the ones who do that same thing to be able to not find balance but to where we have power. I don't want to be ruled. I want to rule over those who used to rule because I don't think that they, because balance would be in the saying that let's equalize these things. We all have rule. I don't want them to have rule no more. Hell no. Why would you want God and the devil to rule? That don't make no sense. God got to rule over the devil. That's wealth. That's righteousness. Not God and the devil ruling side by side or living and grueling in the same world. No, the devil can't exist. I don't want no motherfucking balance. Not in that sense. Imagine if there was as much carbon dioxide as there was oxygen in the world. You know, it'd be dead. So, let's not go for balance. We gotta have our assets in abundance. You know what I'm talking about? And then I seen some young men, man, and, and, and here's the last part. You know, 
I don't care about your excuses and nobody else does. If you're a young man, you're a young woman, and you're watching this right now, and you saying, and you 18, 21, 15, however old you are, you saying, nobody wants to do this, nobody want to give me the proper time, and proper attention. Nobody cares about your excuses. They're going to exist. How you going to empower yourself with all these tools and technology? I heard a young brother on there saying that, well, y'all don't be wanting to give uh, uh, OGs or something that want to give more one-on-one -on -one attention, or if they do, then they want you to pay for it. Get all that weak shit out yourself, man. Get all that weakness out yourself and go work on yourself. You understand me? Go, go work to persevere to go through that adversity. Because I promise you ain't been through a tenth of the things that I've been through and yet I don't look like it. You understand me? And, and, and some of y'all, you get spoiled and it robs you of that ability to go through that adversity so you can actually become great. You yeah. be get spoiling these little boys and these little girls and making them weak. In comparison, if them young boys grew up on certain blocks, you got to put in work on them blocks. You got to lay a body down. Back is. I couldn't even walk past saying, certain niggas without fighting them. Up. Yeah. Back in my day, when 5% of other people was dispensing information, if you wasn't part of that circuitry and know your mathematics, you at least had to knuckle up. There had to be something about you. Yep. It was admirable enough for a fucking uh, OG to waste time with you. Standing in the streets fighting. Them gems. So yeah. now you got social media and you can tap in. You can show a compensatory respect for somebody's time and attention by making a small contribution to your gnosis, right? Let me tell you something. Back in the days, they said when Pythagoras and them got the information from the Kimites and they brought it back to their people, they had to go on a two-year vow of silence before they could be considered for that school, that secret society where information was dispensed. They had to take a two-year vow of silence. What the hell do these young people have to do out here to gain the respect and the attention of people that they consider their OGs or their mentors, right? These people, our parents, parents, and all of them, they had to motherfucking, uh, I remember Dick Gregory talking about he had marched from one part of the planet to another, jogged or some crazy shit like that. All of that for attention. Man, we used All of to that to get respect. People had to walk miles on some forest gum shit, run halfway around the motherfucking world to get media attention, to get focused on whatever their their purpose or their cause is. Now you can do it on the phone and you got an excuse. As a young we used to have to go to FOI class every Monday, Friday, Saturday. Saturdays we had to fight, Monday nights we had to fight, we also had to drill. We had to drill all year long. So even the schools that we went to, we had to drill in the hot sun and learn discipline. Monday nights, even after school, even when I was a youngster, we used to have to go to FOI class. We used to have to fight. We used to have to box. It was men training. It was meditation. It was business. It was seeing brothers get their ass beat for being disrespectful throughout the week. You know what I mean? It was real men's training that Monday nights we used to have to, it'd be 12 o'clock in the morning and we in full suits and dress shoes and got to run around the block 10 goddamn times screaming, Elias the greatest. <laughs> and every time you say you tired, you got to say, and they say, how you feel? You got to scream, fine, sir. It was real man training, so the things like, even even on the block, you know, we used to slap the shit out of white boys just for walking past, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You know what I mean? It's just a different time than I grew up in, so my empathy goes so far to know that you haven't went through no rock training. You ain't went through no, nothing that solidifies you, nothing that grows you through that adversity. You, you had to walk past certain blocks and niggas is like, who, who are you? And then all of a sudden you gotta fight. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, it, it, it's just been real training. Even times when niggas been shot at us, and individuals have to go do different things. You know what I mean? It's like, but as a man, though, having that, going through that adversity, going through that darkness, going through those different training experiences in life, when it comes to shit like this, social media and, and bad days of business and, you know, whatever it may be, you can dig within inside yourself and think about all of that shit that you done went through and it gives you that power and that ability to be able to rise above emotions into the thinking of a God. Like, how can I not rationalize with an emotional thought or a weakness within myself saying that I can overcome it when I done been through the training? And, and a lot of you, a lot of people are afraid to pass a dollar over just to I mean, go through some training. This ain't about money, it's about that thought process of weakness that an individual go through to give themselves excuses to not be able to get to their greatness. All right, so Brandon. We identify the fact that there's a particular terrain that we had to endure, right? Mm -hmm. 
to bring up to this particular place where we do have that thing to reach out to. Right. Right? So, I just want to say, all right, well, get an understanding. What's the proper understanding for the youth that didn't have that experience and opportunity, right, to mm -hmm. mold them into that particular character where they got something? Because, and this is not, this is not to disrespect anybody, but when I see an uptick in suicide rate mm -hmm. for shit like bullying, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And things of that nature, yeah. you know, that shows me that that child or these children or this society or this generation hasn't been properly conditioned enough, right? Like, think about it. When we were younger, they said, we played games, sticks and stones and break my bones with words that never hurt me. Yeah. That's something that you can reach back on. Right. Right? That's a program. Right. In the back of your mind. Even if shit is getting to a breaking point. Or even if a bully fights you, the whole thought process was fight back. As long as you fought back. Remember they had a situation where your mama come, she find out that a motherfucking bully done took right. something from you, and she march you to the bully house even if you get knocked the fuck out. Yeah. If you get crammed in front of the bully house. I used to do that for my younger brothers. Like At least they got that, that's respectful enough to be like, look, you got crap. Yeah, but this is probably going to go into a, a larger, longer dialogue. This is just an introduction to it, family. So, you know, we've posited some good questions. You can work on some good answers, and we could dialogue later on. So we can come up with some sort of, you know, uh, uh, something that the, the, that the parents can deal with when dealing with their children who haven't necessarily been through anything and they're coming up in the era where they're gonna go against computers that have no motherfucking feelings whatsoever. So if you think that you can't deal with a bully today, how the fuck you gonna deal with AI tomorrow, all right? Kick that around for a little while. Peace, love, life. He walked away from the live like I had an AI I was gonna cut it out. <laughs> Hey, y'all be blessed, man. Get on the go, man. Wake up strong, man. And get on the go, man. Focus your life, your mental strength, and your body and have them all aligned, man. We tapped in. Appreciate it.